Hi everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese and I haven't been here for a while and I'm going to talk about that in just a few minutes. I've um, been having a pretty rough time the last couple of weeks and I'll talk about that but I wanted to show you my pillow that I did from Diamond Dots. I think it came out just gorgeous. The cushion, well the cover itself was I believe 17 and a half inches and I just happened to have an 18 inch foam pillow that I have put inside that it has the zipper. It came with this gorgeous backing. It was all put together. All I had to do was put the diamonds on there and then put it into the um, put it into the pillow frame. It was so simple, so simple. See if I can kind of move things around. I'm trying to get it where you can see it pretty good. But I think it's gorgeous. I really do like it. So if you've thought about getting one of the Diamond Dots pillows, I would say go for it. Now I am not gonna I'm not gonna seal this just because I don't want the fabric to get stiff on me. And I'm gonna have this in a, an area where there will be no touching of it, it's, you know, it, it won't be where my, and my dogs are, <laughs> or, or if someone's going to get to it, but I just love it. It's just going to take the same kind of care you would get for any kind of fine fabrics that you have, but I am so pleased with how it came out, and I wanted to share it with you. I am in love with it. Look at those sparkles. Diamond Dots really does have some beautiful, beautiful items so I wanted to show you that because I had shown you when I had been working on it once before and I've had it finished for a while but I just haven't had a chance to show it to you so I love butterflies wait till they go on sale I got this one uh, from Mary Mac Mary Maxim .com, and I waited till they had a sale going on so I got it at a good price Normally, I believe they're, the kit's $28, and I think I got it for about $19. So, I thought I did pretty good on getting this. So, check it out. I just love it. They have some other designs, but I love butterflies. So, what do you think about that? I, I really do like it. Okay, I'm going to put this away, and I'm going to be working. Let me pull you down a little bit. Let's see if I can get you in a place where you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to be working on my Row Diamonds canvas. I had shown this before. They work with some artists that are in England. And I believe, I'm not sure if she had drawn this one, Samantha, or um, I can't, if I can get it into the camera. There we are. And that's what it looks like. It's just real cute. And I haven't had a chance to work on it. I haven't had a chance to really diamond paint or do much of anything lately. And I'm going to get into that. I've, it's been very difficult for me to even do this video. But I wanted to talk to my, I, I consider you my friends. Okay, let me fit this. And, well, let me see. I've got such a glare right there. See if I can put this in a different angle to make this work out. Maybe if I work in this area, you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to just put this piece of silicone paper over here. This is um, Rainy Day Diamonds. She's on Etsy Blushing Blackbird. These were some of the papers that she's thinking about. She might have available for her canvases. She's still thinking on different things. And she's letting me try them out, and they're great. The parchment paper, she found out, kind of absorbs the glue. So I've been kind of testing it out, and it's been great using it on the canvases like this. And I like to put my... got this ready to go. This um, from Row Diamonds. has 
I forget how many ABs. I think maybe six different ones on this canvas. It's just, just gorgeous. I did an unboxing of this. I'll try to remember to link the unboxing of this um, below. <laughs> Got so many different things going on. It's I'm, I'm hoping I can remember to do that. But it's, it's, it is a nice canvas. And I've been looking. Um, I want to get something else from her. She does have some very uh, unique canvases. And that's why I'd like to support. It, it's a small family. And that is doing this and they are using artists I think some of them are local and I would like to try to support them a bit okay oh that's so pretty these these are not the um, AB's in here because I wanted to work on this area over here Here's the, here they are in the bag. And just not being ABs, they are so shiny. They're just gorgeous. But there's a lot of, of that color in here. Okay. Now, where to begin? Now, many of you who have been following me for a while know that my oldest brother has been battling cancer now for the fourth time. He's on his fourth round of battling cancer. Let me see if I can get you where I'm not sure how well you can see what I'm doing, but I'm having a hard time getting this all figured out. But anyway, let me see. Got a shadow going on here. Uh, I am not sure how this is going to go. Let me try doing my hand this way. I don't want to completely make it where you can't see what I'm doing. But it just doesn't want to... doesn't want to cooperate with me. I don't normally make videos this late. It's, oh, I guess around 9 o'clock or 9.30. I don't know. My husband's in the other room watching some football. And I said, I'm going to go... I'm going to go ahead and go do a video. I haven't done one in so long. Uh, but anyway, let me get back to what I was talking about. A lot of you that have been following me know that my brother, oldest brother, has been battling cancer um, for off and on now for a while, and he now has developed lung cancer. He's had lymphoma, he's had skin cancer twice, and the lung cancer that he has is squamous cell carcinoma, and the doctors have tried using one kind of treatment and he's been he's taken three of the treatments and he would get one every three weeks and I was I went and stayed with him I've been and gone and stayed with him he lives about an hour away from me and I've gone and stayed with him a few days at a time he's on oxygen 24 7 and he's on a very high flow at this point just to get up to walk to the bathroom or to go uh, to sit in another room the oxygen has to be flipped up to like six to eight and if you're on oxygen you know that's very high on a con on a continuous flow that is he cannot do intermittent um, flow it has to be on continuous at all times or he when, what happens one week that I was there I had stayed several days and he went he just got up to go to the restroom he come comes back he's on a smaller smaller oxygen concentrator at the time that I only went up to a five by the time he got back to the bed which is only a few steps his oxygen had plummeted into the 60s and 70s. It was kind of going in and out. You cannot live on, you cannot live like that. On that um, <clears throat> amount of oxygen. So, um, I was scared to death trying to get his oxygen back up. 
and we didn't have the bigger tanks and I was rubbing his shoulders and trying to get him to relax to slow down the breathing and it was awful I thought my brother was gonna die right there there right then and there and I'm like we have got to get him more oxygen this is not working this is not going to work so we made an appointment uh, with a lung doctor anyway we were able to get the bigger tanks and then they were supposed to bring the concentrator that he would use at home he has had the huge tanks now that um, if he for portability and those only last him about an hour on such a high flow well the insurance company decides they have more questions for the doctor he was supposed to get his all of these things delivered to him I believe it was a Thursday night and then they said no it'll be Friday evening okay then they say no we can't bring it because Medicare did not want to um, they had questions for the lung doctor before they would give him the bigger tank so it was over the weekend but thank God he had the big tanks that sometimes we would put two cannulas on him up his nose just to get his oxygen up then um, I was with him last this past Tuesday while his wife went and did some shopping I drove up there and sat with him he has a generator in case the electricity goes off so that he would still have be able to breathe have oxygen to breathe I'm sorry I, I'm making a mess out of trying to diamond paint and do this at the same time it's not wanting to work for me come on now don't be so mean so they did a PET scan. His oncologist re requested a PET scan the week before this one. I was there with him helping his wife get him to the appointments. That was a rough week. Really, really rough week. And he had his uh, um, follow-up with his oncologist this past Wednesday to get an update on how the treatments are doing by looking at the PET scan. Okay. So, my brother, um, he pretty much communicates with me. Notice I have another brother and sister, but I've kind of been the one that has been communicating with him. I go and, and help him out. He texted me to let me know the treatments were not working and that the cancer has now spread in, more into his lungs. That was, we were devastated. I cried a lot on Wednesday um, it was very difficult to hear that so the doctors are now they they're trying to decide on a new plan of action of treatments for him okay my brother at this point with his clothes on weighs 120 pounds he is not going to be able to um, have treatments that are going to make him ill and make him sick because if he goes to losing weight he ain't gonna make it and so we're just hoping and praying that he's able to go through these treatments they're going to do it once every week and they're talking about adding another medication to it I'm really not sure, and I don't think Daryl is either, that's my brother's name, is not sure exactly what the plan of action is. They're going to do blood tests on him tomorrow. I'm going back up there Tuesday, and we'll stay for s uh, several days until uh, so his wife can do what she needs to, and I can help him um, do what needs to be done. He does not want to be left by himself, and I cannot blame him as with the condition he's in at this point. So, that's the reason I have not been able to do videos. Um, I've had some of you, and thank you so much, I've had some of you send me emails, um, 
and leave things under my some of my videos saying asking me if I'm okay and um, I've told some of you that have have uh, emailed me and told you what was going on and thank you so much for the understanding and I've had several tell you that you'll be praying and thinking about us and that means more than anything that I could ask for your thoughts and prayers are so so needed not only for him to be healed of this cancer but for peace for his peace um, it's very difficult he told me he said there's nothing worse than gasping for breath but you're not getting any air and some of you that are, are on oxygen would understand that better than I would I cannot even imagine I cannot but he's breathing hard just to make very short little walks and it hurts it really hurts me and that's one reason I haven't made this video sooner because I wouldn't have been able to get through it without bawling my head off and I didn't want to do that I uh, wanted to be able to talk to you in a logical way I guess you might say let me try I am just making the biggest mess out of trying to do this diamond painting where you can see it I just I'm having a hard time thinking what I'm <laughs> thinking through what I'm doing I don't know if I can get you any closer let's see what I can do let me see if that will do okay we're down a little bit closer now that I've gone on and for 16 minutes we'll see if that is any better I don't know if it's any better or not I'm sorry I'm just really um, struggling at the moment to to take everything in uh, take these two off didn't get them on there good I'm just making a mess <laughs> no, I'm hitting the I'm hitting my little um, I have a little webcam on a on this long it looks like a it looks like a hose or something I'm trying to do it from the top so that I could do this from above it's it's easier for me to do it this way at the time at the moment I wanted to show you my and I'm, I'm not able to I can hardly I can hardly diamond paint anyway at this moment point but you can see really how clear these symbols are um, I don't have a light pad or anything on you might be able to tell and I'm not going very fast because I I'm so busy trying to make sure you can see it but I just don't think it's gonna happen I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get this to go the way I want it to do but I just wanted to come on here and tell you about what's going on. And um, I will try to get a few videos done maybe tomorrow that I can put up before I go to stay with him. Unless an emergency comes up and he needs me. Because I will leave at a moment's notice as needed. Um, but I have been watching several different videos when I get a chance most of the time I haven't been when I'm with him I try to spend my time talking to him and sitting with him so he's not like he said he felt sometimes like he was laying in a room by himself dying by himself that's the way he put it and that that crushed me because he's not able to get up and get around and he has his youngest son is 17 he's a senior in high school and of course he's worried about him and he he wants to be there to see him graduate high school um, and he he would he wanted to see him graduate college but we're just I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep my faith and hope up the best I can some days some days it's harder than others as I'm sure most of you know you've You've been through some crisis periods in your time also. I've been with my mom and my dad when they 
passed with my um, brother-in-law. He had cancer. But I don't, it's hard to watch him suffer. It's just killing me. I want to take the pain away from him and tell him everything's going to be fine and that he can breathe on his own. He said it's like being hooked to a, like a leash. Um, he has a 50-foot hose, but at the moment he can get up and walk around with it on anyway. We do um, get him to go into the other room. Sometimes we have to use the wheelchair. Now we use the wheelchair when he has to go to appointments. Um, he cannot walk in, in there. So I just thought I would share that with those of you who might be wondering what's, you know, where I've been and what's going on. And now I, I have not dropped my channel with all the Papa stuff and everything going on you know at this point in time there are more important things than that you know when you put things into perspective there are more important things and whatever they want to do is whatever they're going to do my channel has never been geared for children and when, when I look at my analytics there's no one under 18 watching me so who wants to, <laughs> I can't imagine a, you know, a little child wanting to watch someone doing this or some of the other things that I do. We do kind of grown-up conversation and grown-up crafts. So I'm just not going to sit here and worry about things like that. I've got more important things on my mind, as a lot of you do. Um, I'm sorry, I just may, I may sounded kind, sound kind of disjointed and getting my thoughts together. I'm just a little, having a hard time. And just, if you just keep me in your thoughts and prayers as I make, as I travel back and forth, um, to my brothers and please, for Daryl and his wife Cheryl, and their son Connor now they have older kids too that don't live at home and but it's hardest on the ones who are right there and if you've ever been a caregiver which I have many times several times it's not easy it is very difficult so those who are taking care of someone they really need support and that's why I want to go and help my sister-in-law out it's it's a very difficult job I've done it like I said several times in fact I've taken care of Daryl before in 2006 he had septic shock, septic shock and he was in ICU for two weeks and when he got out and was released he wanted to come home with me his son at the time was I believe four and so I brought him home with me to take care of him he he didn't want his son seeing him like that then when he he had lymphoma in 2010 and at that time his son was eight and Daryl was in the hospital for quite a while and he wanted me to stay with him I, I guess I'm kind of the motherly type or whatever and so yes I went and stayed with him and on weekends my sister that is 14 months younger than I am she would come on the weekends I'd go home on the weekends so I could wash clothes and make sure my husband had food to eat and all that good stuff my husband has been so good at good in letting me go he doesn't say oh I can't take care of myself and the He's just wonderful. I just, we've been married 37 years and shoot, we dated five years before that. So we've been together a long time. He's just a good guy. Do we ever have uh, arguments? Of course, we're human, but the, it's gotten a whole lot better now that we've been together and you know, we're, we've grown up. You learn to kind of let go of the little things that doesn't really make any difference 
but he's just he's been really good through the whole thing and he would be there in a heartbeat if if my brother needed him too so if I have time I'm hoping tomorrow to do a video on showing how I'm going to seal my notebooks and um, my little wristlet purse thing I have so I went also um, I plan on doing the giveaway for my people who uh, purchased nail strips from you it might be a few more days before I get that one done and please forgive me but I'm going to try to get do that it's just not sure that I'll get them mailed off right away and I don't want to do a drawing and not be able to get it mailed off so I may wait until I get back from my brothers and those of you who purchased from me I thank you again purchased from my party my party is closed for the my color street nails and these are my Thanksgiving ones see the turkey whoops turkey on my nail I can see he's so cute there I think I got it and then the pumpkins and so it'll be time now to put on my Christmas ones. I don't know when I'll do that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about my nails at the at this point until you know I have a little time. But I did have a good Thanksgiving. My daughter and her husband came, and that was wonderful. I, I really needed the break, and I hadn't. Well, I got. I did see her back in October. But it'll probably be a while before I see her again, because she lives she lives a, quite a ways away, and they both work and they're busy. So, of course, we talk on the phone and text and that kind of thing. But it's not the same. But I had a lovely time with them over Thanksgiving. It was it was nice. It was really nice. And of course, I texted Gerald every day and. He, he had a rough time on that Wednesday when he got the, the news, but um, I'm, I'm having a rough time here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm doing such a crummy job of diamond painting and trying to, to talk at the same time, and I keep hitting the, not my camera right here, I keep bumping it. I've got it pulled down kind of low, so it's kind of cramping me. So, anyway, I did have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I hope that those of you out there did also. And those of you who may be going through some rough times, prayers to you. Um, it, it's just tough, and this time of year makes it even harder. But we're going to, we're just going to try to cheer them up. I'm going to, my whole purpose is try to keep them cheered up. Uh, maybe get him a get him to do a few, you know laugh a little bit or whatever. Just want to spend some quality time with him. I think that's the most important at this time is to you know just talk and we, he told me he had lots of things to tell me, so I don't know what what all that means. But my brother, he's always been so funny and. Not so much right now, but <laughs> we're, he, he does his best to be positive, but it's tough. It's tough. And I understand it, and I just try to stay calm and in a relaxed frame of mind. My sister-in-law told me, she said, Oh, you know, you should be one of those people who go to houses where people are ill to... She should go help take care of them. She said, you're so good at this. Yeah, it, you know, you you just have to be that way. But I just couldn't stand to, to see someone sick all the time. Especially, uh, I've been through it with my brother-in-law, my mom, my dad. Uh, then we watched Jerry's mom and dad go through it. And, yeah, it's not in my great aunt. So... It is difficult, and I thought about doing something like that, but I just don't know. 
um, if I could take losing people. I, my nurse, um, at my, um, she's a nurse practitioner. That's who I see instead of the doctor. Her dad's my doctor also. She told me maybe I should work with hospice, but I talked with my sister, and she said, Grace, she said, you know what? You get so involved with the people. She said, I think that it just would crush you to, um, you know, to do that. And she's probably right, because I do love people and do want to help people. And I get very, very close to them. And... I wear my heart on my sleeve and I get hurt very easily uh, in different ways, but I don't know. I know that there are people who do that and God bless them. I would like to try to get back to doing things at the nursing home before my mother-in-law passed away and that's been November 12th was two years. I was going and taking twiddle muffs and and trying to go and do volunteer work but after she died it just I haven't gone back and I need to just get back to doing it um, of course I have other things to do now with my brother but it makes you feel good to do something for someone and people in the nursing home a lot of them are forgotten and that was the reason I chose to help at the nursing home and do some things I saw so many of those people, nobody ever went to visit them. And I just go through there and I can just talk to anybody just about. And I just say, hi, how you doing? And just try to talk to them and try to, you know, have a smile on my face. It helps to see somebody have a smile, you know. Don't want to be negative all the time. Nobody likes to be around a negative person. So I try to try to try to be positive as much as I can. But I'm human and sometimes that's not easy, is it? But anyway, I hope I hope all of you are doing well and that you are have been able to enjoy the hobbies that you like doing. I have Sometimes I will do coloring. Now, when I'm with my brother, I've actually been doing some crochet because a lot of times I'll sit on the bed next to him and I can't do this. <laughs> I can't diamond paint and, and visit with him. So I take my crochet and he enjoys watching me do that. And it's, it's easier for me to travel with crochet then with this, they have a, 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 a dog, they have a Shih Tzu, and I, all I can think of is dropping this on the floor, and the dog, because she, the dog isn't quite a year old, and she is full of, <laughs> she's full of it, that's all I can say. I'll be sitting there drinking a bottle of water, and she's just yapping at me, because she wants my bottle of water, because she wants to play with it. I'm like, no! <laughs> No gidget. So I've gotten to where I will pour my water into a cup. So she can't see the bottle. And then I'll give her the bottle. She likes to play with it. It's so funny. She's got toys everywhere and she chooses to play with the bottle. Now my dogs, I can drop things on the floor and I just say no. And they, they, they won't touch it until I get it picked up because yes, I do drop them on the floor. In fact, before I got started here, yeah, I dropped some of these on the floor. <laughs> I had to pick them up before I could get started. And I'm like, okay, I am having a hard time getting myself together to get this, this going. Now, I don't want to talk your ears off, so I'm not going to stay on much longer. Um, as I said, I'll try to do um, maybe tomorrow, because tomorrow is Monday. This is Sunday night, December the 1st. I can't believe it's December. Wow. Um, I 
it's hard for me to get in the Christmas mood just yet. I don't know if I even will at this point. I will do that. Maybe at my brother's house. Oh. We'll, we'll see how things go. I just want to be there for him and help him in any way that I can. Try to bring a little sunshine into his life. And He, he even tells me that when I'm there, he, it makes him feel better. I think it's because I will take control of things and make sure things get done. I don't um, just let, like, if I'd been there, if I'd known that, that the uh, insurance company was going to pull some kind of stuff like that, I'd have been on the phone with them having a little chit-chat. Yeah. Because, you know, they have family members. Are they, do they want them treated that way? I wouldn't think. So sometimes it's hard. And I know it's probably hard for them. I know they've got certain things they have to follow, criteria, whatever you want to call it. But I'm tell you, it is hard to watch a loved one not be able to breathe. I, um, yeah, it, it was not good. And I hope I am not making anybody seasick <laughs> doing this. I can't really tell how this is coming out. <clears throat> Maybe... Hopefully you're working on your diamond painting or your crochet or your knitting or your needlepoint or your crochet or your embroidery, bead embroidery, whatever it is, and not looking. <laughs> just listen if you want. I just wanted to, to tell you, and it. I didn't want to just be sitting here with you looking at nothing while I'm talking, and... I'm already, I'm, frankly, I'm already in my pajamas, <laughs> and I didn't want to come face to face on here <laughs> and do, you know, like that. So, it's kind of fun. I enjoy watching someone um, diamond paint, when I'm, it, and I'm sorry, I keep hitting this camera, and I am probably making a sack or something, I don't know. Let me see if I can move this over. I've just got it so close that I'm... I'm so sorry. So very sorry. But I looked at... Well, you can see. Here's the company. Paintbydiamond.co.uk And they have a Facebook group. Row Diamonds. And Instagram is Row Diamonds also. But I looked on her site today, and she had some more that I really liked. And they have exclusives that you're not going to find anywhere else. And I appreciate, you know, helping helping people out that are, you know, they're trying to work with some different artists besides um, maybe the more well-known ones. So that's kind of neat. And what they do, some of their paintings can only be purchased through the UK and some of them will come to you from China if you if it comes to you from the UK you have to do some shipping charges on that if it's coming from China then there's no shipping but you can, you won't know that until you go on there and put it in your cart to see what it is and I'm sure you can contact them and see if there's something else that you can do which is they have a contact on their Facebook group but she also has where well, you can contact on that website so I'm really enjoying doing this I haven't like I said just I just getting started with it I have not diamond painted for a while been just a little a little bit busy and had my mind on other things and then we had company over Thanksgiving which really really did help me 
I tried to, I showed my daughter the diamond painting things, but she said, she, <laughs> she looked at it, she said, that would just make me so nervous. <laughs> okay. She likes to do her games on her Switch, Nintendo Switch. That's how she likes to relax after working. So, I said, okay, you did not get any of Mama's crafting gene. I was telling a friend today, I said, I even took, because I've done loom knitting before, and I even took some looms to her because it's very easy and showed her how to do that. And she did it with me a little bit. I don't think she touched it again when I left, after I left. And that's been a while ago. That's been a few years. So it's like, okay, let's, we'll just look, let her stick with her switch. <laughs> that's what she enjoys. So, which is fine. Everybody likes to relax in a different way, so. And I did take a dim some diamond painting before Daryl got as bad as he is now. But he had a hard time concentrating, he said on it. He's gotten to it. He loves to do crossword puzzles. He's really good at it. I love word games where you um, take some words. Some, there's letters and you um, make words. It'll tell you. You have to fill in things, and you have to make words from it. I enjoy doing that, and I'm pretty good at that. I love working with words. That's more my thing, and I love music. Um, I play piano. And when I was in junior high, I played violin, and I also play organ. I played the piano and organ both in church for many, many years. Um, I... I I have sung in church a whole bunch. I've sung at weddings and funerals and talent shows and different things. So, that's, that's a little bit about me. I don't know if I've mentioned that before or not. I, you know, I'll be talking along. I said, have I told them that before? Am I boring you guys to death about these different things? Just let me know. Say, so, you know, you you've told us that before. Don't talk about it anymore. But yeah, it. I ate too much over Thanksgiving. It was pitiful. <laughs> I was cooking things, and we went over to um, also to my brother-in-law, my husband's brother and his family that we went to their house on Thanksgiving Day with my daughter and her husband. We all went over there and we had a good time there and had lots of food and then we did some Thanksgiving at my house. We cooked stuff up and I had my brother and his wife over that live next door to me. They live about a hundred yards away and that brother, his name is Greg, he is a mess. He, I've talked about him before, but he was telling stories <laughs> about things, and I was laughing so hard, and I really needed it. I needed that release, but he would talk about certain, some different things, and it was funny, so... I think I just really laughing so much because I just needed a release from the what I've been through for for a little while. But and my poor husband had to work on Friday, so but he had lots. He was um, we had plenty for him to eat when he got home. He warmed everything up. And, yeah, I just ate way more than I needed to. And I am a stress eater. When I'm under stress, yeah, I eat. And my sister's opposite. She won't eat. So when her husband um, had cancer, I was having to make her eat. <laughs> you didn't have to make me eat because I was eating. And we all deal with stress different ways. If you're a... How many of you are out there are stress eaters when you're under stress? And how many of you are 
you don't eat. You just like can't eat anything. It's just weird how that works. But, oh well. That's just the way it is. I'm going to try now not to eat so much. Since Thanksgiving's over, I have got to. Oh, I go to the doctor December the 9th. Ugh. For my yearly checkup. I am not looking forward to it because she'll do the blood test and we got to check that cholesterol because my cholesterol tends to run on the high side. My mom's did too, but my mom was always so little and um, she didn't eat lots of fats and things. So he just figured it was just maybe hereditary. I don't know. Okay, I have just yammered on here for 45 minutes and I'm going to let you go and I thank you for those of you who stuck here with me <laughs> while I've been just chattering away and I hope that we kind of can get things back to normal again in my family. Um, I just want my brother to things to get better. Um, so I'll be trying to make some videos tomorrow and I'm going Tuesday to my brother's. I'm not sure how many days I'm going to be there, just for as long as he needs me. I'm just going to pack some clothes and go. And um, I will be back in touch with you again. Um, I love you guys. You, you really don't know how much. It means to hear from you in the comments. I can't say that enough. Just to hear you, just to say hi, you know, <laughs> or... You know, tell me something about what's going on in your life. You know, I do care. I'm interested. So, I love comments. And if you would give me a like, uh, <laughs> that just helps other people find my videos. Um, and if you, you know, if you don't like it, if you just aren't inclined to, to give me a thumbs down, that's, you know, that's your business. <laughs> Whatever. I am not one of these people who's going to sit and sweat over it like I had in the past. But love you guys. You take care. I hope you're having a wonderfully blessed day uh, or evening or whatever time you watch this. Just take care of your, each other. Please tell your loved ones you love them. We just don't know how long we've got. But I do love you guys. You guys take care. Bye. Love you.